Do you see this cup? It's one of my favorites. My daughter gave it to me because she knows I especially like angels. Anyway, I've been preparing this cup for you all week as an object lesson. You see, I've been thinking a lot lately about how much we focus on the externals. What we wear, how we do our makeup, our designer handbags. Our world is full of advertising that tells us what we should think, what we should do, how we should look to be cool and in, to be popular. It's all about the externals. But Jesus tells us, first clean the inside of the cup and dish, and then the outside will also be clean. Say what? When I was 10, my family moved to Minnesota and I was the new kid in school. On my first day, a girl quickly started talking to me and was nice to me. She made me feel welcome. But later in the day, some other girls approached me and made it clear she was not one of the cool kids. I dropped her like a hot potato. Oh, I was nice to her face, just never hung out with her again. Another time when I was in college, I asked a guy I liked to join me for a, our dorm floor dance. The problem was I was still hung up on my previous boyfriend. The night of the dance, I pretty much ignored him and went off and hung out with other people and tried really hard to make my former boyfriend jealous. A friend told me later that my date had asked if I was always like that. Needless to say, we didn't go out again. You see, I was focused on the externals. I wanted to be thought of as nice and popular and attractive, but inside I was self-serving, inconsiderate, and hypocritical. And we've all heard stories about religious leaders who had extramarital affairs or nonprofit organizations who abused the money that they were given. They used it for their own benefit instead of for the cause. So let's come back to the cup, cute and clean on the outside, but after a week of not washing, yuck. Inside, it's disgusting. Jesus went on to say, Woe to you, teachers of the law and Pharisees, you hypocrites. You are like whitewashed tombs, which look beautiful on the outside, but on the inside are full of the bones of the dead and everything unclean. In the same way, on the outside, you appear to people as righteous, but on the inside, you are full of hypocrisy and wickedness. You see, Jesus knows it's not about what we show people on the outside that matters. It's who we are on the inside. If we aren't clean on the inside, if we aren't kind and good for real, we're just full of hypocrisy and wickedness. The outside can't be truly beautiful unless we're beautiful on the inside too, or at least we're working at it. Well, what I want you to think about this week is what's in your cup? Are you modeling the behaviors you value? Are you walking the walk, not just talking the talk? Are you showing others only the good you want them to see while you're hiding selfishness, conceit, and other ugly attitudes? I first prepared this thought of the week with a story about someone else's hypocrisy. I told Al that while I could be accused of a lot of sins, hypocrisy was not among them. This morning, God brought these two incidents to mind and showed me my own hypocrisy. Not a pleasant realization. All of us have dirty cups at times. Clearly, I do. But let's get our insides regularly inspected by Jesus. Let's ask him to help us clean our cup and keep it clean from the inside out. That's it for this week. Aloha, see you there. And may God show you what needs to be cleaned up in your heart and give you the strength to do it. God bless.